Today on my seafood trails, I'm in County Mio, and I'm starting in the beautiful and dramatic Clue Bay, where the pristine waters provide the perfect environment in which to grow mussels. Michael Malloy has been farming mussels here for 35 years, and he's bringing me out to one of his mussel farms to explain how it's done. Well, it's all natural. There's very little intervention. You just rely completely on nature to provide the spat and the riches of the water to provide the growth. It's 100% natural. We don't intervene, we don't feed, weed, or dose or treat. It's, we're relying completely on the water to do the work for us. The mussels produce a business thread so they can squirt a little bit of glue onto a surface and then attach a bit of thread to it and bind themselves to any surface you choose, rock or plastic or rope or anything. And in rougher locations, that thread is stronger. They make it as strong as necessary to hold on. They're, they're amazing animals. How long does it take them to grow? Well, it depends on, yeah, it takes about two years from the time they're actually settled, which is the word that we use for when they go from larvae, they swim in the water for about three weeks, then they look for something to settle on. We call that the settlement. We get that in May normally, and two years, we should have a good mark of a muscle. So this is what's happened, and they've settled here, is that what's They've happened? settled here, but yeah. in the growing period, we do have to uh, manage the density of them on the rope. If we leave them at the same density that they settled on, they'd fall off, because we get tens of thousands per metre. And so if you let 10,000 muscles in one metre, that's not sustainable, they'll fall off. We've got two different types of rope here. The grow rope is from, uh, it's manufactured in New Zealand, reusable. We, some of that is 15 years old. The actual head rope, which performs the structure of the long line. In the 90s, we got a lot of uh, used rope from the fishing industry, and we reused that. That's very much part of our ethos, really, is to try and reuse and recycle. And it is actually fantastic rope. Some of that rope is actually 50 years old. So when they're ready to harvest, what's the process? We've got a little sacrificial bit of rope on the top. We cut that. We introduce the rope into a venturi pump. We put it onto a hauler. The rope is dragged through a stripper. The mussels are conveyed up into a grader. And there's two grid sizes and the big marker ones out the front. Two-man operation in reasonable conditions, about five tons an hour. It's noisy and wet, but it's uh, it's grand. And these are huge bags, like the yeah, the yeah, yeah. We put about 1.2 tons in those bags. Maybe 15 of those on deck for delivery at the process factory. Yeah. And would you harvest every day? Busy periods, maybe two or three days a week. Uh, then other times, maybe one day a week. It depends. But normally, we, we're blessed that we have a 12-month season. We've got a great monitoring system in this country run by the Marine Institute and we'd have to take samples every week, both flesh and water, and they're monitored every week. And if you don't send in a sample, they come looking for it. It's well regulated. So it's the clean water that's really vital? It's, uh, to make sure there's absolutely no toxins okay. in the product. And that, in turn, that's batch sampled at the factory. Each batch of mussels that they cook is subject to the same tests. And Michael, do Irish people like mussels? We consume about 0.3 of a kilo per head of the population. In Belgium, they consume 23 kilos. 20 per person? Per person, That's yeah. incredible. They're mad for them in Belgium for some reason. Even though they don't produce them themselves, mm -hmm. The French and the Dutch supply them. Well, you're going to cook some from me, aren't I you? I am indeed, yeah. And on board here. Yeah, yeah, I've got a table and chair. No, I didn't bring any wine, of course. Don't worry about that. <laughs> no, Nevin, it's not a, every day you get a chance to cook for a chef. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. Yeah, it's great. I'm not cooking your fish, but you can cook. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, it wasn't difficult to cook oh. these particular mussels because these have been cooked before and put in a vacuum pack with garlic sauce added. Gorgeous. And that is where most of our mussels end up. It's done in a place called Connemara Seafoods, which is just six kilometres in the bay from here. It's a very short boat ride for us. So, and that's our main outlet. So we just basically open the pack, yeah. heat up the saucepan, put in pot and make hot, and that's it. <laughs> I love that sound. Yeah, yeah. They're delicious. Now, when you get your fresh mussels, how do you like to eat them at home? Well, um, kind of the traditional French way is probably the most, because it's so easy. You just chop up a small onion, clove of garlic, parsley, bit of white wine, get that fried up, get a little bit of colour into it, chuck in the mussels dry, no water, lid on tight, good strong gas ring if you have it. The stronger, the more heat the better. And about three minutes. They're done. Bob's your uncle. Stir them maybe once in the, to make sure they're all open. Mm. And uh, happy days. That's Come here, great, thanks guys. very much. Yeah, no bother. I absolutely loved it. Yeah, great, great. So that's uh, first for me. Yeah. And these yeah. mussels are delicious. Great stuff. This is Kilmacalog, a beautiful little harbour on the Berra Peninsula, on the southern shore of Kenmare Bay. 
It's home to a couple of mussel farms, one of which is owned by Carol and Angela Daly, who have been farming mussels here since 1983. So, Carol, what are you doing here? I'm lifting the head rope. The mussel dropper ropes are attached to the, the head rope. And how long are these ropes? So 30 feet long. These mussels are about three months old. There's loads. Yeah. And they look very small. So tell me the life cycle. The mussel larvae, which is a very small, tiny mussel, is in the water, say, during May and June. We put out our mussel ropes that time of the year. The mussels settle naturally on it. So once they attach themselves to the rope, they never leave it, do they? No, no. And you can see different sizes. These are two and three months old. The smaller ones, two months, the bigger one maybe, might be three months. There's several spatfalls of mussels during the summer, and they collect away on the rope during the summer months. Yeah. And how long does it take for them to fully grow? 15 to 18 months. We have two crops in the water at the moment. This is the seed mussel from this summer. Move up there a little bit, and we can see mussels from the previous year, which are 12 months older than this, obviously. And we can check that those for size. They're nearly full, fully grown. So you yeah. always have to work ahead? Yeah, we have two crops in the water at the same time, really. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we go and have a look at them? Yeah, sure thing. I'll just drop the okay. head ropes here. We're just literally, what, two or three barrels down from where yeah. we were, Carl? Yeah. Right, Nevin, yeah. These are heavy mussels, Yeah. Nevin. Twelve months older than what we were looking at previously. These are about four months short of going to market. What are you looking for before they go to market? Size mussels. Yeah. In the meat yield, you need a plump meat. So they'd be nearly ready to harvest nearly them? Nearly ready, yeah. yeah. And this is what you call the beard? Yes. Yeah. Is that what they cling on to? That's, yeah, the beard or the bis, yeah. They're young. You see that in the, the colour. You see a bit of blue in the shell. That means they're quite young. When does your season start to harvest these? In? November, usually November, okay. December, yeah. Perfect visibility there today mm. to the bottom of the water. This is Class A water, so that means it's monitored all year round by the Marine Institute. So they take samples here on a monthly basis. What they're filtering is terribly important. So they're filtering clean plankton from clean water. OK, so you're holding the rope and you're yeah. just pushing it down. Yeah, yeah. I thought we were going to have to handpick all them. Yeah, no. That is clever now. Yeah, in good weather, they're still loose enough. It's, it's ah. easy enough to get them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here, I better put these two in. <laughs> That's not a bad harvest now. <laughs> well done. It's time to taste the mussels, and where better to do this than at Helen's Bar, which is conveniently located in the harbour, right beside the pier. See, Nevin, look, if you just take your shell, OK? Mm -hmm. Open your mussel. Yeah. Get the first one you open. And that's your fork. Ah, ah, you don't even need cutlery. You don't need cutlery. <laughs> OK. Now, you were telling me that you export a lot of your mussels to France, but you also cook some. So tell me about that whole process and where you, where you supply. Bringing our mussels up to our cookhouse. First process is we have to debase, which is to take off the, the tread, the mussel tread. Then we're into our kitchen area and we cook in pans, not too deep, 30, 40 mil, with a lid on it. We Get a small bit of white wine first into the pan, spread our mussels in, inside the pan, get our herbs into the pan, spread them nicely with the mussels. Parsley, garlic, shallots. Get the lid on into the oven, the preheated oven, for 30, 40 minutes. We're trying to get a roast on the mussels, taking out some of the moisture. Mm -hmm. You're getting that real sea taste then. The salt is there, it's stronger sea taste. It's a unique taste. We cool the mussels after that. We cool them through our own chillers for another 30, 40 minutes. And then we're into our packing, tray packing, with a spoon of liquid, of its own liquid, back into the pack. We seal that, and we have a 21-day shelf life with that. It's a map pack. It's not a vacuum, it's a map pack. So we take the air out. We use yeah. a, a food gas with that, and uh, they hold for 21 days that way, you know? That's fantastic. And where do you supply? Is it locally you supply? Yeah, we supply along pubs, mostly pubs along the Bearer and along the, around um, the Ring of Kerry and the Ring of Berra, and to our local super value in Kenmare as well. Yeah. But you don't export them, it's all no, raw you all, export? that's all locally. So you've shown me how to catch them, cook them, eat them, serve them, the whole package. <laughs> Thank you, Boat. <laughs>